Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and yes, I know, I know what this looks like. Um, it does not look like a freaking BH Cosmetics palette uh, review. <laughs> Yeah, so this video is going to be a little different from comp in comparison to things that I've done before. Um, I wanted to have some fun and um, don't get me wrong, I do love doing tutorials and reviews. I know that I don't normally do things like this on my channel, but you know what? Uh, the day that this video is going up is likely October 1st, so happy October everyone. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. It was kind of all over the place. I know that this is not the most correct skull of you know all the ones out there like I was looking up pictures I was like trying to reference things but like uh, in the end I kind of had to do my own thing because I'm an amateur so I did have a ton of fun creating this look though like I was I was going to do the BH Cosmetics review and um, I will be doing that soon so stay tuned be subscribed if you would like to see that and you will be notified of course um, Obviously I post everywhere else like on my Instagram and Twitter every time I have a new video So please go follow me there links will be in the description box below But without further ado, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video Alrighty, so first things first we are going to start off with the eyebrow and I'm going to be just taking a quick makeup wipe and taking that sucker off and then um, I know it may come to, as a surprise to you guys that I do not have a lot of eyebrows going on but uh, that's a story for another day. Um, and then I'm just taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I am putting that all over my face and hair and <laughs> blending that out with a sponge. Next I'm taking some concealer and I'm just going under the eye that I'm going to be kind of glamming up a little bit, uh, not really bothering with the other eye, and then I'm setting that down with some translucent powder and I'm also setting the rest of my face. This part ended up not mattering whatsoever because I ended up just covering everything up with paint anyway, but this is the contour shade from Wet n Wild in the shade Dolce de Leche. And then for eyeshadow, I'm pretty much just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just going to be dipping into colors in here and making my eyes nice and dark and smoky. Um, so I'm just going to speed up through this part and let you guys watch it. This is the NYX Glitter Glue Primer and I'm also taking a NYX Loose Glitter and I'm taking a flat brush and just packing it on top of that glitter primer just to get things nice and glam and sparkly and then I'm taking a dark brown shade in the Anastasia palette which had a lot of fallout on it so be careful <laughs> um, and I'm just using that shade to kind of deepen things up a little more on the outer edge and blend those glitters and shadows together. Alright, now that the glam side is done, we can move on to the fun part. <laughs> this is just a white eyeliner pen. I think it's from Wet n Wild, uh, or pencil I mean to say. And I'm just using this to kind of outline where I want things to be. And I'm using a lot of reference pictures for this, but it was still kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm just using this to outline kind of where I want everything to go map it all out and then um, white is usually the best for this just because you can wipe it off right away if you don't like it. And then you obviously don't have to do this part if you are not like me, but I just am marking all the areas that I am painting black just so I don't forget um, because you just I just feel like that's something I could totally do is just forget what parts I'm painting black and what I'm painting white. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I went ahead and did. 
And then this is a cream base paint that I got from Walmart like two years ago and I just am now using it. Um, this worked okay. Um, it was not as opaque as I wanted it to be so I went ahead and switched it out for a different one. It's the body paint one which is in a lot larger bottle and as you can see it ends up giving me a lot more opacity, opa opaqueness. I don't <laughs> Once I got it to the point where I felt like I looked pretty dead, um, I went ahead and moved on to the black parts of the face and um, for this I just used a fluffy brush that actually came with my Anastasia palette and it worked really well. Um, I don't know if it's because of what the br bristles were made of or what, but it picked up the color super nicely. Um, I was looking at more reference pictures and obviously um, lines in skulls or hollows, whatever you want to call them, are not that straight and perfect so I went ahead and added some more crookedness to it just to make it look a little bit more realistic again um, this is not <laughs> the perfect skull so um, I don't know but I was trying to go easy on myself because it was the first time I'd ever done anything like this um, so yeah just filling in all those areas and going from there And I probably should have just left well enough alone for this part. I thought that my temple area was a bit too big. Um, it ended up being fine. Like, I don't really know why I messed with it. Um, so I tried kind of erasing it with more white and then it ended up just looking gray and it was just kind of a hot mess. So uh, if you're like me and did that, then you know what? Just don't worry about it. <laughs> The nose was weirdly enough um, one of the hardest parts for me to do, aside from the teeth, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I don't know what it was, like it was just really difficult to get into that kind of pointiness. Um, pretty much I was just kind of trying to go off of like a lopsided V shape for um, the top part and then just kind of filling in the rest. But for some reason, I don't know if it was my brush or what, but it was just really difficult to kind of get that fade going on. Um, so as you can see, I kind of messed up and did it a little too thick and then I tried to blend it out with my finger and that did not go well, so yeah. As with everything else, I tried to just keep the eye socket kind of crooked and not too fancy and not too perfect. Um, I didn't want to do like a perfect circle, so I'm not trying too hard here. Um, I'm pretty much just filling everything in and then I also used a black eyeliner on my waterline just to make everything super dark. And as you can see, it is not very even <laughs> whatsoever, but that's okay. Um, right here, I'm just going in with a little flat definer brush and just kind of going over some details like my eyebrows and things of that nature. <laughs> Right here I'm just taking a little fluffy brush and I'm just adding a bit of white into those hollow areas just so that way it adds a little bit more depth and shadowing and makes it look just a little bit more realistic um, just to make them look like they're actually kind of hollow and maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I do like the way that this looked so I'm happy that I decided to do that. All right, we are finally on to the teeth, and this was definitely probably the hardest part of it, everything. Um, but basically, I just started with drawing a very thin line from both sides of those hollows on my cheeks. And then for teeth, I kind of just went off of the idea of drawing little houses um, or Hershey kisses, whatever you want to call them. Just kind of going really, really lightly. I didn't want to do anything too intense or too dark. Um, and you know what? Just do the best you can. They are not easy and anybody that says they are is a big fat liar or they've done it 10,000 times because I really struggled. Um, 
And then I just am going to be taking a gray brownish eyeshadow and kind of just going between the teeth a little bit just to add, um, I don't really know what I was doing here, but I kind of like the way it turned out. I don't know why I did it, and I don't know how to explain what it looks like to me. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of dirtiness or whatever you want to call it. But I like it, and that's all that matters. And then right here, as you can see on my neck, I'm having to kind of wipe away a lot. Um, I just wanted to keep it in because um, obviously we all make mistakes. Um, but anyway, I just am adding these kind of white bone looking things. Um, clearly, I know a lot about the human body, okay? Um, I'm a doctor. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm just adding kind of three white lumpy-ish squares <laughs> to my neck. And then I'm outlining those in black and I'm also filling in the rest of my neck with black. And I feel like once I did this, it really just pulled the whole look together for me and I love it. And here is the completed look, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and become a part of this little family that I have going on here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye. I wanna do white first or black first? White first or black first? Black first, right? I didn't think this through. Uh, oh. You guys see this? Um, so, okay, whatever, it looked better before, okay, um, man, my lips are so dry, alright, okay, now that's all done, I gotta pee, whoo,